Hi, is it Miss James? Hi, yeah. Um, I'm one of the doctors looking after your mother, Caroline James. Oh, excellent, okay. Um, I'm Dr. Yu. Nice to meet you. I've come to update you on her. Do you want to come to a quieter side room? And that's a bit more private, I can talk to you. Yeah, sure. Have you got anyone with you that you no, want no, to bring? No, just me. Okay, just this way then. Mr. James, can you tell me what you already know about your mother coming to hospital today? Yeah, I brought her in this morning, uh, dropped her off for her to have her thyroid out. Yeah. Um, I just came back to collect her, say hi. Um, I was supposed to meet her in this ward, yeah. but uh, the nurse has told me she's not come in. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried. I don't know where she is. She isn't coming to this ward, but I've come to tell you where she is at the moment. Unfortunately, the operation hasn't gone quite as straightforwardly as we'd hoped. Oh, is she okay? There has been a complication, but she's okay. Do you want me to tell you what's happened? Yeah, please. So she went into the operation and had her thyroid taken out, okay. and that all went well. Yeah. But when she was waking up from the anaesthetic, she started having some breathing problems, and they're quite serious. Okay, what, what, what's happened? She had to go back to the operating theatre and she had a tracheostomy. It was a very controlled. We had to make an opening from the skin of her neck into her windpipe, which allows the air to go into her lungs. At the moment though, she's now awake and she's breathing, and she's in our intensive care unit. I just... They tell you these things can happen, but you always expect the best. I can't... But she's doing well now. She's under the best care. We're going to look after her. So, so what, what are you going to do for her? So there is a few steps that we need now to take. The first and most important thing is that we make sure she's stable and she's breathing and we'll keep her in IT in the intensive care unit overnight tonight to monitor her. Okay. After we know that she's stable, we need to do some tests. We need to find out why this has happened. So one of those tests could be that we put a camera down her throat just to have a look inside, see if there's been any damage, can we see what's gone wrong. But once we've got the results, we can formulate a more long-term plan about what we're going to do next and we'll keep you updated. Do you have any more questions for me? I can't think of anything at the moment. Don't worry. You might go home and think of some things. Yeah. If that's the case, when you come in or give us or give a phone call to the ward and one of the nurses will find myself, one member of the team, and will come speak to you. Okay. Is Brilliant. Right? Yeah. Can we can we go and see her now? Of course. Okay, see her. Brilliant. Should we go? Okay.